Hello everyone. Today, I would like to talk to you about the LISC block forging mechanism and more specifically about the voting process. In the LISC blockchain, blocks are proposed every 10 seconds by delegates. Every account on the blockchain could register to be a delegate, but only the ones with the highest delegate weight get to generate blocks. The delegate weight is computed according to different votes cast on the network. Here, if you open the LISC desktop app, you can move to the Delegates tab and see the list of delegates and their delegate weights. As a user of LISC, you can choose to be a delegate, of course, but you can also decide that the best way to protect the network is to support and vote for established and efficient existing delegates. We will talk a bit more about how to vote and the potential advantages of voting, but first, let us stress that voting has consequences. First, every token that you use for voting is locked. This means that those tokens are still yours, but they cannot be used for anything. You cannot send them or you cannot use them to pay fees. This locking remains as long as you are voting for, with those tokens. So to get them back, first you need to unvote, then you need to wait for roughly six hours, and only then can you unlock them and get them back to your available balance. Secondly, if you are voting for a delegate and this delegate gets punished, then the token that you use to vote for this delegate will be locked for an extended period of time. So you will also face part of the punishment. Basically, instead of your tokens being locked for six hours after the unvote, they will be locked for 30 days. You would not lose any tokens, but you cannot, you just cannot use them for 30 days. Okay, so now let's see how uh, one would vote from the list desktop app. So here I open the desktop app, I will go to sign in and for this example, I will showcase a testnet vote. Exactly the same thing happens on mainnet, but it's always easier to test on testnet. Here I entered my passphrase and click sign in. Now, if you want to vote for, if you want to see your votes, first of all, you can go to your wallets and click on votes. And here you will see that I am currently voting for only one delegate with 100 LISC. And if I want to add votes, you need to go to the delegates page and choose which delegate you want to vote for. So for example, I could choose to vote for this delegate. So you click on it and then you need to click on add to votes and choose the amount you want to vote with. Let's say for example, a hundred list. Then you click confirm. Now the vote is not yet cast. It is just in my voting queue. I can go back to the delegates page and I can choose another delegate and I can add a second vote to my voting queue. So again, I click on this delegate's um, name and I go to add to votes and I can add, let's say I vote with 50 lists for this delegate. To see what is in your voting queue, you need to go here on the top and uh, click on the small icon with the little green round number and here you can see those two votes so this is my current vote amount i'm not voting for those delegates and it would go up to 150 LISC. and you can decide to edit or remove those votes if you want to now to cast the vote you click on continue and now you have a summary of the transaction and then confirm going back to the wallet we will have to wait for a few seconds for the votes to be registered on the network and then we will see them appear here in our votes page. Now you can see my new votes are here. And I have, of course, less available, less available balance, but I have more locked tokens. So now this is the second thing I want to show you today is this locked um, balance that you have here with this little padlock emoticon. If you click on it, you can see all the tokens that are locked and all the tokens that are either available to unlock or in the unlock process. 
So here you can see I have 250 lock tokens because they are currently used for voting and 250 lists that are available to unlock. So I could get those back to my available balance. Before doing this, let's just see how you can modify one of those votes. So for this, here in your votes um, page, you go on the small uh, edit emoticon here and clicking on it allows me to edit the vote. So here I'm currently voting with 100 LISC for this delegate. I could go down, let's say, to 50 or 20 LISC. Let's say I want to go down to 20 LISC. I confirm and now the update goes again in my voting, um, voting queue. And if I want to edit this vote, maybe I don't want to vote for this delegate anymore. I can just click remove votes. This will remove the full votes. All right. Now, clicking on the voting queue, I see the same page as I saw before with the old vote amount. I was before voting for, with 100 lists for this delegate, and now I'm going down to 20 lists. Or for example, for this shoes 8 delegate, I was voting with 50 lists, and I go down to 0 lists. If I'm happy with this, I click continue. I see a summary of the transaction and I confirm it. Now the transaction has been sent to the network again and we need to wait a few seconds for it to, to register. All right. Um, the vote now has registered. You can see our votes page has been updated. And if we click on the little padlock, we now see a lot more information. We have still 120 LISC locked because those are still used for voting. But now we have two amounts, 80 and 50, which are in this unlocking process. So we have unvoted them, but they are not yet ready to be unlocked. So both of them will be ready to be unlocked in six hours. And here, this is what will change if the delegate gets punished. When you try to unvote a punished delegate, you would only be allowed to unlock 30 days later and not just six hours. All right, yesterday I also unvoted some other delegate, and so I have 250 lists which are available to unlock. And to do this, I just need to click on unlock here. And again, I see a confirmation of the transaction, which I confirm, and now it has been sent to the network and will be back on my available balance really soon. And there it is. Now, note that throughout this whole process, you never lose the tokens. They never really leave your account. They are only locked and unusable for a certain period of time. Um, to conclude, I just want to say a few words about why you would vote. And the first and most important reason is to secure the network. Indeed, if there are only very few votes, it means that it is easier for an attacker to control multiple active delegates, whereas if there are lots of votes, it means that it is much harder to uh, buy enough LISC to gain a forging spot on the LISC uh, blockchain. This is a bit similar to the total hash power of a network in proof-of-work chains. If there is lots of hash power, it's harder to get control of the chain. So voting for trusted delegates improves the overall security of the network. Secondly, um, all delegates that forge a block receive some block reward for forging this block. And the way the delegates use this block reward can change from delegate to delegate. And so you might want to vote for a delegate depending on this reason. Some delegates actually share the block reward with their users and some delegates use the block reward to incentivize the creation of new tools and applications for the LISC ecosystem. And so if you um, vote for those delegates, you also promote the creation of new tools for the LISC ecosystem. In this whole process, remember that if the delegate is punished, you, your tokens might be locked for an extended period of time. Um, if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about voting directly on the mainnet with your LISC, don't hesitate to first try it on the testnet. That's why we have a testnet. You can very easily create an account on the testnet in the same way as you create a mainnet account. And uh, getting testnet 
LISC is very easy. You just need to go to our faucets page. There you enter your address and you automatically get some LISCs. All right, that's all from my side. Have a great day and see you next time.